from KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back to East Texas Live. Joining me now is Russell from NetHealth, and today we're talking about, uh, even though it may not feel like it right now, we're in the middle of winter, and you need to make sure you and your family are prepared for future winter storms. Good morning. How are Good you? Good morning. All right. So uh, a little bit about uh, what is exactly this uh, program that we're talking about today? So winter preparedness was just our severe weather seasonal uh, preparedness tips that we mm -hmm. give folks, uh, particularly this time of year when we could potentially see outages of electricity, gas, those type of things. And mm -hmm. uh, Texas did take it pretty hard in 21, and we would like to prevent a lot of that again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely some really important stuff. And uh, what, what exactly is the Smith County Cold Weather Response Plan? So it's a, p a plan for us to be able to uh, shelter and warm people if they need it. Uh, it identifies uh, partners in our community that would allow us to uh, bring people in, uh, feed them, warm them up, and mm -hmm. uh, shelter them. It also is um, uh, information about what's available mm -hmm. uh, to, you know, if you need an emergency, how to get a hold of an ambulance or uh, medical equipment, things like that. So mm -hmm. the plan is um, basically our response to severe weather. All right, definitely really important. And even though it has been warm recently, of course, uh, it's still February, so we could have more cold weather. So what are some of the lessons learned from the most recent winter storms that hit East Texas? So the primarily is um, most of the, the major fatality uh, count happened with uh, secondary exposure. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's very cold and they moved a, a grill or a stove indoors and then they suffered uh, from uh, gas poisoning. So mm -hmm. uh, a lot of those things happened during our last uh, couple of events where it was really not this, the cold that killed people, mm -hmm. it was safety issues around the cold. You got caught traveling without a kit, mm -hmm. a preparedness kit, or like I said, you move your grill inside and try to mm -hmm. keep, keep warm around it. Yeah, carbon monoxide, definitely yeah. a very uh, silent killer here in the winter time. So are there specific activities or purchases that families uh, should do now while the weather is relatively warm right now? Yeah, so uh, primarily the best thing you can do is have a plan and have a kit. Kit would be things that you would normally have around the house like water, uh, you know, high protein foods, that kind of stuff you mm -hmm. would want in a, uh, in a very cold environment. But then also you need, uh, for the kit, you need your on hand items that you could put in a bag and perhaps go to a warming center if, if mm -hmm. need be. All right, so there you go, some very helpful uh, tips there. So for people who wanna find out more, how can they contact NetHealth? Well, you can go to our webpage or you can call us at 903-595-1350. All right, well, perfect. Definitely some important tips there. Anything else you'd like to add before I let you go? Uh, be, be sure and uh, take care of your pets along with them. They, they also need a plan. They need a kit themselves. All right, so there you go. That's uh, what you need to be prepared uh, for the rest of the winter.